Hi and welcome to another how-to tip brought to you by The Heart Of. Today's lesson is how to split columns in Excel and the reason that we need to know this is because a lot of spreadsheets are actually created where the first and surname of a person are typed into one cell and when you are importing into a database or a CRM you will need these separated into first name and surname columns so that they import into different cells within the database. Now I've got um, a difficult one here because Jason has a double barreled surname and I've put that in specifically so I can show you what happens when that occurs. So the first way to separate the columns is you need to insert some columns where your separation is going to come into. Now normally you would have a um, spreadsheet that's obviously got details for the company and the address and phone numbers and everything going along the columns so you'll need to insert two columns. So the easiest way to do that is to highlight two columns, use your right click function and just say insert. Now that's going to give you two columns to for your surname to go into. Two columns because if you do have somebody on your database with a double barrel surname it's going to split that into three columns. So you will then have to just manually go and fix that up afterwards. But generally the ma majority of people will work and you'll have the surname in this column. So how do we do this? Very simply we just highlight the column that we want to separate. We go up to the data menu and we click text to columns. Now I'm using a Mac so if you are using a PC you'll find the text to columns is still under the data menu. It will obviously just look a little differently. So you click on your text to columns option and you want to leave the delimited selection selected and go down and click next. And then what you want to um, delimit on is space. So make sure the space is ticked. If tab or any other of these selections is ticked, you can untick those. And you will see that it gives you a sample here of how your names are going to look. And you click next. And you can leave the settings. They're just asking you here what format you want them in. Because it's a name, you can just leave it as general and click finish. And there you go, it's done it for you. So the majority of your names will be perfect and then all you need to do is scroll down this third column, find anybody that had a double barrel surname, take the Jones out of there by cutting and pasting it in with the brown and then you can delete. Once you've gone through and done all that, you can delete that extra column. Again, just highlight the column right click and click delete and there you'll have it you'll have a first name column a surname column and then all the rest of the details and you're ready to import so thanks for listening and if you need any further information we have heaps of how-to tips on our website www.theheartof.com.au